Hi guys, it's your girl Effia. Hello, my name is Adama, aka Sister Derby. Hi folks, the name is Prince Debra Say. My name is Oga. My name is Harold Amenya. And, and this is Peter Ricci, aka Miami Home. And you're watching E with Bags. Having so much fun. Don't go anywhere. Hello everybody, my name is Wiyala Rejimba, but you can also call me Wiyala, the lioness of Africa. And you are watching E with Bags. Keep watching. She's fantastic. Hello everyone. My name is Kujo Entry. With me from me, Mr. Music Man. And you know what I'm doing right now? I'm watching E with Bex. Entertainment. Maybe I'm in Warner with Bex. That's my favorite program. Peace. Welcome aboard, TV lovers. I'm your host, Becky, and this is E with Bex. Stay tuned with me. If you have just joined me, this is Entertainment with Becky right here on your Joy Prime channel right here on Multi TV. Um, as we always do every Tuesday, we bring you entertainment, the serious entertainment, the only entertainment show that is credible in Ghana and across Africa. So um, you join me, you are on Joy Prime and today I have uh, one of the most beautiful ladies on the musical scene here in Ghana. I've met a couple of them but she is different. She uh, decided that she will keep her hair very long, not like mine. Hopefully, hopefully after this interview I get to, you know, get some of her hair and put it on some, you know, maybe. I'm talking about Ishan. She is a musician right here in Ghana. She's uh, been here all the time. And uh, today I am pleased that she could join me to talk entertainment with here on Entertainment with Becky. Hello to you, Ishan. Is that the name? Sometimes I'm confused. I go like Ishan or Ishan. It's okay, anyhow. It's Ishan. Ishan. But I choose to say Ishan. Ishan. Yeah. Ishan. I mean, if you choose to say Ishan, then we, sh we might as well go with Ishan yeah but because we, that's the we name know, we know Ishan so if you call me Ishan that's cool if you say Ishan that's fine too okay yeah. how are you doing you look beautiful thank you so this is the brand this is what you want us to yeah you know. one of the things that you know you would know Ishan for is the hair um, my voice the fact that I'm a performer as well yeah. and then I do high life and do other genres like High life in particular, yeah. That's one of the things, my hair. Yeah, yeah. so beautiful. And um, the last, well, personally, I've, 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 I have been following the, the last time or the last performance I remember of you was when you performed with, I think, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, um, Legends and Legacy Ball. That was fantastic. And she kept saying that this lady can sing, she can sing, she can sing. I'm like, oh yeah, somebody recognized that. How do you feel? I felt really good, very pleased to have shared a stage and um, uh, be with her singing one song together. So yeah, it was it was beautiful. It was a beautiful moment for me that I, I always cherish. Yeah, and eventually um, you were supposed to meet her up in South Africa or something like that. What happened to that deal? Uh, we're still in talks. Uh, after the show, he said, "I would like to do a song with you." We're still doing it. I'm sure okay. it will be on my album. Okay. Hopefully, yeah. So. Yeah, it's still, it's still on the table. Mm. I, you have so many songs, uh, Fache and, and the rest, uh, and loving someone or someone loves me. That's that's a very fantastic song. Do you have an album? You, have you put all of them together for an album, or you're yet to work on an album yourself? I am already working on it. It's almost done. It will be out. Uh, by December 7th. Okay. Yes, but um, I have many songs now, so if I do a show, I'm sure I'm not going to be running out of songs. <laughs> so I can do back to back and you know, okay. do my own songs all the way through, even for an hour. Okay. But for an album, um, I'm ready for December 7th. Okay. Yeah. December untamed. 7th. Untamed album. Um, untamed, untamed album. Yeah. You're not. You're not tamed. Nobody can tame you. Yeah. Different. Kind of different untamed means wild it means yeah. free yeah. so i'm free on it i'm wild but i'm free and what's on there is actually very different you mentioned that uh, you do more of high life or you do other genres uh, this album that is coming on the 7th of Dece uh, december december um do we have like more of the high life in there or you're free to do everything on the album um, we have everything and 
and we have high life. So it's actually everything. We have high life, we have reggae, um, we have slow songs. Okay. It actually has bits and pieces of everything. Okay, yeah. I can't wait for that album. But I know that, I mean, whilst working on the album, you've been working on so many projects. Uh, I mean, can you, you know, tell us about that? Yes, um, I am a breast cancer campaigner, string more water campaigner. I'm also on a project um, uh, called Statelessness for the UNHCR. Um, and recently, I just uh, uh, did a street letter walk. Mm. Stop littering walks. We'll, 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 talk, we'll, we'll talk about that one, but uh, what exactly do you do um, as a breast cancer campaigner? And can you elaborate on the things that you've done so far for you know the many Ghanaians who I mean, still don't have an idea of what's going on? You know, people just sit there, they don't have an idea. Um, before that, let me tell you that um, when I started talking about it, um, I was passionate about it because well, everything I do, I, I give it 150. And so I was really, really passionate and I'm still I'm passionate about it. But uh, my aunt passed and we kept asking what happened, what happened? Because we didn't hear the story um, until she died and then there was a funeral and we were there and all of that. Later on, we found out that I was breast cancer. And, you know, it, it made my passion for it even Go, go higher. Yeah, I okay. understand. It, was, it, it became even more serious for me to tell people about breast cancer and how it's killing especially women. Okay, so when it happens to, to especially women, we think um, it's an evil spirit. We, we, we tour and go everywhere, the pastors, mm -hmm. and last minute, okay, let's go to the hospital. But then it's too late. Okay, so I decided to, now it's 150, let's make it 200. Okay. okay. Um, my role as a campaigner is to use my social media handles. Okay. And um, we had this seminar about breast cancer that they did in October uh, last year about breast cancer. And because they know that I put it up on social media and everywhere, they invite me to talk about it. When I go, I go with a doctor because I don't know much. Much about So yeah. if I have a doctor with me, I say what I know, he says, you know, the rest. And so that's what I do. Uh, everything to prevent it, because when it happens already, when it already happens to you, then it's, it's more difficult curing it. So I actually talk about preventing it, drinking okay. more water, okay. eating healthy, exercising, all the things that you should do uh, to even prevent other sicknesses. Mm. So this is what I do to help women from contact uh, illness. Breast cancer. Breast cancer. Do you have support though? Do you have people coming on board to support you? Probably government. Have you called for support yourself? No, not yet. Mm. How not about yet. the littering one? The one that uh, that almost got you into trouble. I don't know whether it got you into trouble for no, something didn't. that you said. Mm. Um, well, about about, about dustbins. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we we did the walk. And Cape okay. Coast okay. because um, that's that's where I am and uh, that's where my fan base is. That's where I started music. From. Okay. Yeah. So we decided to do a street walk um, and talk about listening. Uh, and so we went round and my observations were there isn't any bins. Okay. We are going around telling people to stop littering, uh, but there are no public waste bins. So where do they put, put their, their their waste? Because as human beings, we make waste. Okay, so I put that out, and the fact that we should enforce the law, because if the law is enforced, uh, they know okay, it's a, punish a punishable act. Yeah. And so people will take it more seriously. And the fact that there should be award schemes, and so if an, uh, an area or, or, or a society, uh, an environment, uh, they are. They are keeping the environment clean. So they get awarded for keeping the exactly. environment so clean. Exactly. So other people That's will be encouraged to do, you know, to keep the environment clean as well. Okay. So I talked about maybe awarding them, or rewarding them with a with a light pole, maybe fixing their gutter, maybe getting them a dustbin, something, fixing their road. You know, it will encourage people to stop littering. Okay. Mm. So these are the things that I talked about. And um, they, they thought came out, DCMA came out with a press release okay. that um, me talking about 
uh, the fact that there's no bins, bins in, 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 in the public is irresponsible and it encourages irresponsibility. And I still stand by what I said, okay? Because, I, you know, I'm just wondering why they will come out to say that. I haven't yeah. read the release, mm. but I'm wondering why. Everybody disagrees with them. You can help, you them, can help me think about Every, why you think. Everybody disagrees with them. Okay. Know? Everybody disagrees with them. And, um, or they didn't hear what you said well or what you meant by saying that there are not enough bins uh, you know public at, yeah. at public places i believe they are doing what they can but it's, it's not enough because if it is then the streets will be clean okay? but, but have you tried contacting them so that you guys can work together since i, I mean i told all, them okay when i finished the the, the uh, cleanup exercise I talked about it. That's one of the things that I said. That if they want me to join in and help in any way, I'm available. Okay. You know, so I said all of that. I said and, all of and, that. And what was the response from them, you know, after that? That, that? is what, that is what they said. They said, where are you? That's been snap, I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, but I still stand that this is what we should do. They should provide public things. Mm -hmm. So that a person is walking in town, they make ways, they eat something, they drink something. Oh, if I walk 100, 200 meters from here, you know that there's a bin there's somewhere. There's a bin somewhere, so I won't drop it here. Let me just get there. But do you, do you, do you really think that the bins will work? I think the bins is one of the things. That's why I talked about three things. Yeah. But they just talked about the bins because they said they they did it before and people were stealing it. They were not keeping it well. Okay. I'm like, there's so many ways. Human nature, though. Yes. <laughs> There's so many ways to, to go about this. You can put maybe an iron something around the bin so okay. that it can't be removed. Okay. You know, but gradually, and then uh, the government has to, to to enforce the law as well. Okay. So that me saying they should put bins, you know, in public places, will also mean that there should be uh, this. Uh, uh, what do you call it? You're from Mbalaka. Coming oh, around, like the Zoom Lion. Exactly. Yeah. Coming around to, to take it. And it's expensive to have these cars come around and take it. If you enforce the law and somebody goes against it, I'm sure the income that you get from there can also cater for, you know, the cars yeah. going around to take Because if you leave the bins there, there's going to overflow. Then one of our bins now, back around. Okay, yeah. yeah. I appreciate the fact that you're doing this. Not everybody thinks about, you know, the community. They're just yeah. making the music, which will come back to the sure. music. This is what you do, music. Yeah. We know you for music. Mm. Uh, what's up with the music life? How has uh, music been mm. treating you since you came into the industry? Um, it's been interesting. Roller coaster started four years ago. It's been great. So it's been it's been a roller coaster. It's been some ups, some downs. Yeah. But I would say that it's been good. Okay. Um, I like the way people love Fache. Someone loves me. Someone loves me. That's like Someone it. loves yeah. me. It's a song that's traveled very far, very wide, outside Ghana, mm -hmm. in Ghana. And um, whenever I get a show and I sing it, everybody is singing word for word. You know. How do you, how, how, how does that make you feel? You know, you have people. It's uh, for some people. It's very difficult to actually get a song out there mm. to the public, you know, to actually accept it and actually sing along. Yeah. But you have like songs, more than twenty songs out there that a lot of people can I have relate. Thirteen actually. Thirteen songs. Yeah. Thirteen. Oh well, and they made the biacho. And the Ayen Twasso. Oh yeah, you're still working on an album. Yeah. But 13 songs, then I think all these 13 songs are making waves. And yeah. you have people singing along. A couple of them. Mm. Uh, Maya, when I when I raise it, people sing it. Fache, because mm. they, it speaks about forgiveness. Forgiveness, love it. yeah. Uh, Didadi, it actually has its, its, you know, market. So I get people singing the songs. Mm. and no way people love it in nigeria because it has pg inside mm -hmm. yeah and so yes the 13 songs are doing great yeah and, and, new, and new girl it's a rap song but yeah people, uh, people uh, love it because um i did a cover of, of that it's sacred and ace song 
and then someone loves me because it's ours and it's highlight. Yeah, yeah. and so it's, it's it. because there's love factor yeah. in there. Yeah. And, and it makes you, uh, how does that make you feel when I'm, you hear I'm, people I am very, very accepting. happy about that. Mm. Yeah. Does that very, make you feel you that. want to do more, give us definitely, more of the music? Definitely, definitely. This is, this is my, my, my choice, my path. And uh, sometimes you might start something, you won't see the impact mm -hmm. immediately but then with time it becomes you know an empire something that you it never even thought you yeah. know it could it could be and so i believe in that process i believe in in time okay and i'm actually very happy that people love someone loves me and even my new one i want people mm. really enjoy yeah it. they're jamming to it the yeah. video is very colorful i love it yeah yeah so um people sleep right after you know hit songs they realize that oh Ghanaians love me and you know what and then the next day they disappear mm. you 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 hit them up and they they tell you that oh i've been working and you know they have been working but we don't see the works out there mm. and how do you keep yourself going i just keep going mm. music wise yeah i just keep going you I record just... every day not, I'm just wondering because day, you do every you other do day. other things. Yeah, yeah. Because I do other things, I'm not able to record every day. But um, I'm always in tune with music okay. every day. You know, okay. because that's what I do. That's what that's my first love. Okay. Before everything else. Okay. Okay. So it's always you know in my head, in my bones. I'm always trying to see what else I can bring up to talk about in a song because. Uh, with musicians, we talk for people. We are the mouth mm -hmm. of people. So yes, I try to have different concepts, different messages every time, mm -hmm. so that um, I'm able to talk for that person that that um, is not able to talk about what he feels, what he wants the people to know. Yeah. You know, so you you hear a, a song here like this song just speaks for me. This yeah. song is just speaking to me. You know, and that is what I live for. Mm. And each time I get text messages, messages from Facebook, from Twitter, from people call me and they are overwhelmed. They talk about how someone loves me has helped them through a relationship. Okay. How fat Somebody, somebody texted me. It's like, hmm, Ishan, today I was gonna send somebody to police station. I've been chasing him for my money. So 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 so. And this this and this and this is what he's been doing to me. If not for this song. I was calling the police today to lock him up, but I think oh. I will take my time. It's like, please do. That's the only thing I said. Please do. It's like, thank you so much. Okay, you so know? it's impactful. The music is impactful. And that, and that is what I live for. That is that is what's fulfilling for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's it's fulfilling to to have people uh, connect with your song like that, and and that's what I always strive to achieve every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you do anything apart from music, like a day job that you do? Um, I love presenting. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So, so why don't you interview me right now? <laughs> because you take are. my job because right you now. Are right now. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> she loves presenting. Really? Yeah. So you produce and you present? Yeah. Okay. So you. Uh, uh, Sometimes do you I have... do with my boss because he works at um, GBC. Okay. Yeah, uh, he works at uh, Radio Central Cape Coast. That's GBC. GBC. Coast. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes I, I produce. Okay. I so ba so uh, so I can confidently say that you're a presenter, producer, and a musician. Can I say that? You can say that. Can so say do that. you get paid for that? You yeah. know the presentation job. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Uh -huh. so what's interesting about it? Oh no no, it's interesting. No, we don't we don't we don't read. I mean. Some, some, some of your colleagues, they'll mm. go like, they, um, some are nurses, yeah. some go into other things. Yeah. But I haven't really seen a presenter singing. Okay, Andy Dusty. Mm, Andy Dusty, oh yeah, I like yeah. that but, but music is a, is a full-time job, man. You, you need okay. all your time. So it's difficult to do everything else, to, to do anything else. Mm. It's a full-time job, you know. And if you do it and do it well, well. you wouldn't have time for anything. Okay. I'm sure soon I wouldn't have time to do to do anything, anything because you're doing a lot of music yeah. and you're touring. Yeah. You're looking forward to yeah. 
tour and there. I, I heard this thing somewhere say if you have a job your time you have to, too much time when okay. you have a job you have too much time mm. but when you're building a career your time is not enough yes limited and music is, is, a, is a career it's a career on its own brand it takes a lot of time in fact it takes all of your time now your family will start complaining everybody everything else yeah. you know because it takes much time much time yeah okay i'm looking at um going international and um the question is do you think that with all the things that is going on with you and fuse you've you spoken about it can you tell us what exactly is the issue about is it that he signed you on to a label a contract a song what happened um i wouldn't want to talk much, much about yeah about but that. we need to understand because uh, somebody is asking um don't you think that uh, i mean you have a relationship with fuse who is international and it could you know probably hold you back from going international because he's kind of a key for you going you know international i mean we record outside every day you go and record with Yemi Alade and the rest in Nigeria to have that international feel so fuse is out there and what, so what I believe in is that um, people strive to get what they want okay if you don't give up if you don't stop if you put hardware consistency God all the right things that you need to put in place mm -hmm. and you work towards your goal you get there just as Fuse has gotten there. Yeah. Sarko Deer is there. Yeah. Becca is there. Tiwa Savage. Anybody. Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Now, I'm now looking up to. Mm. And we're going to do a song together. Yeah. That is how it is. Anybody can do it. You can just, you can do it if you want to do it. You can get there if you really want it. I, I read this thing somewhere. Okay. It said if you want to succeed um, just as much as. Um, you take your breath. Okay. I don't know whether I'm, I'm going to last your your next breath. You mm. mean it just as you mean your last breath. breath. You succeed. Okay. That's that's great. So you don't really have to depend on everybody or anybody to. I don't think, I don't to think you, you have to depend on, on anybody. Mm. But we need else we need get disappointed. But we always you know need people to lean on. Exactly. To get somewhere. I believe. We I all believe, need people. I believe in in relationships. Okay. And keeping them well but sometimes they don't treat you well fuse and i the issue is me or my team complaining about the contract not treating myself fairly nuna and selassie well it's not even about me okay so that's what it's about okay yeah. so and that's different from um working our way forward the three of us or let, let me talk about myself yeah working my way forward to get international that's different from different that. from it's just me. one issue okay you know that's how i see it it's just one issue and uh trying to stand for my rights mm. you know and, and trying to just voice out that is there money involved you know when 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 there's money involved then mm -hmm. it becomes very tricky it, it depends on the individual okay you know it depends on the individual and for me and my team, money is in the thing. If, thing, if you okay. read the contract, I'm sure you understand where we're coming from. You and see, I've the problem. talked about. No, the problem is a lot of people don't understand the contract. I don't think they should. I don't think. I don't think. They so should. it means that. So if we don't understand the contract, we can't even ask the needful questions because we'll be confused. I am confused because I don't even know what is in the contract. So. You're telling me the surface, and I'm asking you about the surface, and we're still here. Yeah, I'm sure when you move I don't elsewhere, delve in. delve in. I don't want to delve in because it's a contract. Okay. Okay. Two. Okay. Two or more, and it's and not for us. People, okay. You know, so it's not supposed to go out there. Um, but what we are saying, or what I am saying, is that it is not a fair contract. Okay. That is why so we are not going on, on with the project. Okay, exactly. that's all. That's okay. So you don't have any bad blood between yourself and Fuse. Everything is fine. It's just that you're not. I haven't. I haven't spoken to him yet. Okay. I haven't spoken, but I don't have any. 
I don't think there's any bad blood between us. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's that's all we need to know because I mean relation you spoke about relationships. Relationships are good. If the contract is not good and you want out, that's okay. Yeah, I believe we can I believe move on. It's, it's cool when people talk about their rights. Mm -hmm. Um because um it's happened time over and you keep quiet and it keeps being done to, to people. Mm. Next time it will be your daughter, a friend that you know that's very close to you and they will talk about it and you'll be pained about it. So, what can you do about yes, it? It's sounding like uh, it's something that is going on in the industry that we have no I've, idea I've of. Heard, I've heard a lot about it, I'm sure you have. You know, mm. when um, maybe they, somebody brings a contract, that's not fair. Okay. We've, I've heard it time over. For okay. me, I've heard it time over. Okay. So I thought it wasn't fair. Felinuna's management as well. And Kelasi's management as, as well. well. So it's not just me. You know, the three of us and our management think it's not fair. We wanted some changes to be done. To be done. To be so done. until so the change is done, you guys are not going. Until the changes are done and then we come to a neutral place. Mm. Uh, then we will see the way forward. Okay. So that's that's what I know. You're such a nice person and I know that the public out there knows that you're a nice person and they will I mean, I have flaws. To... We all have flaws. Oh, we, yeah. all, we all make mistakes. You know. Can you that allow me to just praise you <laughs> on the show? I have flaws. <laughs> we all make mistakes. But my thing is that me and I'm a kind, but okay. see, let's do it this other way. Okay. There's always, I'll say this again, there's always a way around human beings. Mm. Yeah. So I can't So God help me to do same. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise <laughs> the Lord. It's been nice talking to you. We wish you all the best, really. Um, the sky and above is the limit Thank for you. you. And I'm sure that um, you are going to go out there and make yourself, your family, mm. people around you and Ghana proud. I, 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 You're promising I to, to do, do that. So. Yeah. That yeah, is yeah. what I want to do, so okay. I hope to do so. We will end the show right here. We'll come back next week for even more thrilling edition of Entertainment with Becky. My name is Becky. I've been doing this with uh, Ike and Nat. Thank you guys so much for uh, the support. Thank you so much, Lizzie, for this beautiful makeup. I really appreciate it. My lipstick is on flick. It's by Sister Sandy. Thank you. We'll be back next week.